Welcome back. Last weekend when UND Hockey hosted number four Denver, they were without a handful of key injured players, as has been the case all season. Freshman defenseman Josh Rieger stepped up when called upon, even playing out of position as a forward. Recently, we got a chance to sit down and get to know the first year D-man. My name is Josh Rieger. I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, and I play for the University of North Dakota. I was always Riggs. I had never been called Reggie. And then we were doing video one day and and Bob's called me Regeer by accident. And then the guys kind of started calling me Robin Regeer. And then Regeer turned into Reggie and it just hasn't gone away. <laughs> uh, I started playing when I was about five years old. Uh, my dad I used to go watch him play in an old barn in the in the beer league, so I mean I used to love that and just I had the love of the game right right from day one and just wanted to keep playing. Uh, it was good, it was fun. I mean it's a little bit heavier schedule than college. You play play 58 games, not 36. Uh, but I mean it was great. I was only a couple hours away from home, so my family was able to come down to almost every game and you know, you just it's a you grow you basically get a whole new family away from home. I mean, you're living with different people you had never met before, and they welcome you into your home, and you know you just become part of their family. Actually, the head coach Brad came down uh, our last game before Christmas break and saw me play. We played Notre Dame. I had a pretty good game, and he came down and talked to me after the game. Just said that you know he liked what he saw and and would hope, hopefully be able to get me down here after the break. So I was able to do that. I came down, saw them play uh, Miami after Christmas, and I just had a great time. And the guys were so welcoming. I mean, the Ralph is incredible, and it was a pretty easy choice. Uh, it's pretty great. I mean, uh, me and Gabe are roommates. Um, I mean, Kirstead's just a floor up from us, so we're all pretty close. Um, we kind of joke around a bit. I mean, we never, it's not like it's a big battle about if one guy's in the lineup, the other guys are mad at each other. So, I mean, we're pretty, pretty close and happy with, for everyone's success, so. We, we have this argument a lot. Uh, I wouldn't really say I'm the smartest freshman on the team, but I mean, the guys say that I dedicate myself. So, I mean, I always put the time in and just, you kind of get out, you get out of it what you put in. I've always kind of, grew up that way so yeah I don't, I, it's tough to say that one. <laughs> uh, I actually I love golfing in the summer uh, I haven't really done enough of it these past few years I've been busy working and whatnot but I love golf and I like going out with my uncles and stuff and kind of grind their gears I can hit the ball a little bit hard farther than them but they always seem to shoot better than me at the end so uh, and then I started fishing a bit this summer and I kind of love that now. After the age of like 10, I had always played defense. Um, I actually ended up playing one game forward last year because we had quite a few guys hurt and suspended. So I played one game at forward last year and didn't go so well. So when they asked me this year, I was kind of a little nervous, kind of didn't want it to go like it did last year. So I kind of went in the mindset of just hit anything that moved and <laughs> let the other guys do the, do the puck touch and whatnot. So yeah, it was actually kind of fun. All right, well, no games this weekend for the 10th ranked Fighting Hawks. They will return to the Ralph on February 9th and 10th for a series with Colorado College. Coming up after the break, our final obscurely detailed Super Bowl predictions, and I even get to weigh in on the big game. Don't miss it. Stay right here.